All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have Junior. This is John Roswitz from Ben Salem, one word. Um, and uh, we're going to do a vertical bridge on him. You can see the marks that we've got here. And I'm just double checking the length of the jewelry. So it looks like I might have to adjust a little bit when I actually go to do that. But we're also going to bend the bar to match the curvature of his face, um, which I'll do another little separate video and edit it together. But we can kind of see there's a little bit of curvature. He's got a chrome egg brow. So I'm going to do that here in a second. And that's another good thing. Scrunch up. So you can see them move around, but we can see even though the marks are moving, there's very little change in the distance between the two. They kind of move all right. All right. All right so here we have the bar, and I'm going to do a little adjusting. I'm going to start slowly, but these guys are really easy to bend. I have it attached to the thread of taper, so it gives me a teensy little bit of leverage. So I'm kind of just going to push on it a little bit, and that gives us, as I almost unthread it, it gives us a little bit of an initial kink that now Rita come over here so we can look at it from the side and then you can see that I want to do just a little bit more of a kick because we want this part to sit like this so we do a little bit more all right there we go that's better that's looking like almost like what I want I'm just going to do a little bit more there we go That's what I want right there. Okay, so we can look at it closely here. Seeing they're pretty easy to bend. So boom, we're done with that one. All right guys, so I'm gonna double check my marks one more time and I can just see here by just right. Actually don't need, now that I bent the bar, I don't need to adjust my marks because we're pretty good. I'm gonna be doing this with O needle and needle technique. All right, so JR, I want you to close your eyes for me. Just relax, I'm just gonna line myself up and let's do a big deep breath in. Let it out, good, first part's done. And big deep breath in, let it out, second part's done. And that guy's gonna bleed. He did used to have one here before done by someone else, I believe Ed Chavarria. Um, in a slightly different place, but there's still scar tissue in the area. So here's my needle I'm gonna do, and I'm doing this instead of a taper because trying to taper through the scar tissue would be horrific for both of us, and I'm sure he also appreciates that I'm not doing that. So now, just guiding my hell in there, just breathe JR, and we're gonna do a breath, good. And you can kinda of see, it's gonna guide its way out here through the hole. We can see it's actually coming to the punched hole, and we're going through that scar tissue, and we're done. Just gotta put the jewelry in. You're doing all right, JR? Mm -hmm. Now. These guys are always gonna be bloody, and this is the fun part for everyone. Getting this. Yep, there we go. Oh, all right, just gotta screw the end on and then massage the tissue down. You're doing great, JR. GR and I have a long history of trying to shoot videos for, don't do that, it just made you bleed. It's funny. Um, trying to shoot videos for a conference and something going wrong, so, so far so good. I hope I didn't curse it. But if we did, at least I have it for posterity on video so I can make fun of him for forever. I live a sad life. You love it. You keep coming back, dude. This Eric just wants to not be a jerk and screw him up. Okay. See it? And there we go. See, at least it wasn't something terrible that went wrong. Now, mm -hmm. the tissue's going to be tight, so we want to just relax and massage it down. And there we go. Now we'll get a good cleaned up shot here in a couple. A couple. All right, all right, and here we have the finished product. You can see he's definitely a little puffy. These guys will get a little swollen, but that humpiness does tend to go away. If we're looking at it from the side, we can see the adjustments for the curvature of the tissue. And there we go. Ta-da!